On Tuesday, voters in New Mexico's first district elected Democrat Melanie Stansbury to fill Interior Secretary Deb Holland's congressional seat. The results of this special election can give us one of the first reads on what maybe to expect during next year's midterms. And who better to break it all down? Of course, Steve Kornacki, who joins us now from the big board. Hey, Steve, good morning. Hey, Joe, good morning to you. Well, yeah, here you go. Final result here. There are still just a few votes to come in, but this is basically at New Mexico's first congressional district. This is basically Albuquerque. That's what we're talking about here. The Democrat Melanie Stansbury wins this race and wins this race. The margin here is going to be 24 points. And I think that's the significant thing to keep in mind, because that was really the question. And that was really the suspense heading into this special election. This has been, at least in recent times, a pretty strongly Democratic district. So it's not a shock the Democrats won. What people wanted to know is what was the margin going to be and why is that important? I'll put two numbers up here. Number one, this is 23, as in Joe Biden last November carried this district by 23 points. That's one of the reasons Democrats felt safe taking Deb Holland, who had been the congresswoman from this district, taking her out of the seat putting her in the Biden cabinet as interior secretary and then creating this special election. So Biden won it by 23. And Deb Holland, who I just mentioned, running for re-election to the House last November, she won by 16 points. So the question here was, where would this margin be? And what Republicans were hoping for was, obviously, in their dream scenario, they would have won this seat. But what they were really hoping for was to come in to have a margin here that was a lot closer than 23, a lot closer to, than 16, maybe something in the single digits that they could point to and they could say, hey, look, there is a backlash building against the Biden administration, against Democratic control in Washington, the Biden agenda. And, you know, you've seen this in the past, these special elections early in a presidency. Sometimes they can pretend what's going to happen in the midterm election. So that's what Republicans were hoping for here. They were hoping to get something a lot closer than these two margins. And you can see where it ended up. It's going to end up bigger than 16 and actually bigger than 23. This margin for the Democrats is going to be 24 points in this special election. And again, we look at special elections always with an eye towards the next midterm election. Look at it this way. Right now, the balance of power in the U.S. House, it is narrow. It was hit five vacancies with this one. There's now going to be four, and the Democrats are going to be up to 220. But still, 220 to 211 is a very, very narrow majority. And if Democrats are going to hold on to this in the midterm in 2022, they're going to have to defy history. You can look to them to be pointing to this result for a while now in New Mexico, one saying, hey, if we can outperform Biden in a special election, we can outperform history in a midterm election. That's what you're going to be hearing from Democrats coming out of this New Mexico race. It all makes sense now. All right, Steve, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Good to see you. You got it. Thanks. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.